Hi guys, this is Rosita Applebaum, and I know I've been kind of MIA, but it's been kind of crazy. It's finals week, and everything just came at once. So I know I haven't made a video in like a week. I really, really miss you guys. I've been posting on Instagram. Even though I'm a little late, today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorites for November, and today it's actually December 7th. So I'm about a week late with this, but... I asked some of you guys if you guys still wanted to see it and you said yes. So I'm going to get started. I really don't have like too many extra things. It's primarily makeup and these are just things that I've really been loving. Um, not only in November but before that and up until now. So I'm going to show you guys makeup, a couple hair things. I'm going to show you guys the random stuff at the end. So I'm going to get started with face products. And the foundation that I'm wearing right now is my ultimate favorite at the moment. It is a little bit drying, so because the weather's changing here in New York City, um, I noticed that in some areas I'll get a little bit dry, but it's nothing you can't fix with like Fix Plus or something. And the foundation that I'm talking about is the Lancome Taint Idol or Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup, and I wear the color 230 Buff. W, which stands for warm. I really like this foundation because it's very flawless looking. It's mattifying because I'm very oily and you honestly don't need to set this with a matte powder. I actually, I'm going to show you guys a powder that I've been loving to set it with. And I apply this with my beauty blender and it's the perfect color for me. It's very yellow toned, yellow based and it matches my skin perfectly and it stays on really, really long. I've never worn it for 24 hours, but I've worn it for about 9, 10 hours at most, and in maybe some areas it'll come off, like my nose, but I just touch it up with some with some powder. So I really, really love this foundation. You should definitely check it out. I will do like a demo soon and a review and comparing it to the other Lancome foundation that I always used. This one is just a lot more matte than the other one. So I really, really like this. You guys should definitely check it out. And then as far as concealers, I'm loving two. I'm loving the MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost. It's just like an applicator like this, and it's really, really yellow toned. I'm wearing it right now under my eyes, and it really, really does brighten. I sometimes wear this alone, but lately I've been applying this new NARS, well, it's not new, but it's new to me, the Creamy Concealer. I have this in the color Medium 1 Custard, and you can wear either of these alone, but I love them together. They're both brightening formulas. This one, this NARS one, is just so so gorgeous like I tried it on in the store once and it was kind of dry under my eye but now that I've kind of played a little bit more with it I absolutely love it it's more full coverage than my Maybelline fit me and I'm gonna be doing like a high-end versus low-end like my top favorites and this has just been really really great for me it's just I've been getting more bags under my eyes because I've been working really hard and with school so this does a great job of covering and this just does an amazing job at brightening the under eye and just really giving me that like triangle bright look so I love these two concealers they're amazing I'm still setting my concealer with the well rested but you guys know that's my favorite so I'm not even gonna mention it and then to set my whole face normally I used to use the makeup forever duo matte powder and I still do use that if I really want like a full coverage but I actually bought this NARS um, this is the Light Reflecting Setting Powder in Translucent Crystal. And it basically has like diamond reflex or something like that. But basically, I love to set my whole face with this. I use really any brush. I normally use this one from Real Techniques. And I just apply this all over and it really just gives you a flawless face. It does a great job at blending everything together and making you look absolutely flawless. I do have it on right now and... My skin just feels really soft when I have it on and it just looks a lot better. I feel more secure when I have this powder. So you should definitely check it out. They do have a loose version of it, but I bought this one because I want to just throw it in my purse. And the only thing I don't like is that the packaging of NARS gets really dirty, but I kind of do like it because it looks like worn. I don't know. I'm weird, but I have two more face things to show you. The first one is this Gourlain or Gourlain bronzer in... 03 this is the terracotta bronzer and it's the perfect color it does have shimmer in it but when you apply it you really don't see the shimmer on your face and I recommend this bronzer because you really don't need a lot you need like a dab and it gives you like this beautiful glow to your face and honestly if this doesn't last you this is pricey this is $53 if this doesn't last you you're not applying your bronzer the right way 
I always use my Walmart brush and I always put bronzer on my temples here and I feel like this is going to last me so long. It's really sleek and great to just throw in your makeup bag because it doesn't really take up much room like my L'Oreal one does. So I absolutely love, love, love this. And as far as a highlight, you guys know my The Balm Mary Luminizer highlight. Um, this was on Hot Look for 50% off, but you can also find it in Dwayne Reed. I know in the city they have a Dwayne Reed near Grand Central, and there's it's on the corner basically on 42nd Street, and they carry The Balm. Um, sometimes it's sold out, but they pretty much always carry it. I think this is $24 it retails for, but you can get it on Hot Look for $12 when it's on there. And it's just amazing. I just love it. I have it on today. You really can't see it in the camera, but it just, it adds so much, like, glitter, and it just looks so pretty and flawless, and it's just like that finishing touch that you need on your makeup. Like, you can have a full face matte, but when you just add that highlight, like, it just instantly makes you more glamorous. So I love, love, love this. And a lot of girls say there's crack but I actually have never had a problem with mine cracking and there's a good dent in there so that's how you know I really like it when I'm using a highlight like that if it's dented that means I really love it as far as lip products I've been loving three lipsticks first two lipsticks that I've been loving are by Too Faced and they're like the cream or la creme lipsticks you can get these at Sephora I believe they retail for $19 each and I have two I have nude beach and then I have naughty nude Today I am wearing both, actually. I have them on layered. This is Nude Beach. They're very creamy. The Nude Beach has a little bit of a pinky tint to it, which I love. It looks really great on. It makes your lips a little bit plumper because it's so moisturizing. Um, during this time of the year, MAC lipsticks, like, I can't wear them alone. I have to put MAC on top of something like this because, you know, you don't want no crusty lips, girl. And even without a lip balm, these lipsticks don't look crusty on you ever. So this is Naughty Nude. It's a lot more brown. This Nude Beach is a lot more pink. So here they are swatched. They don't have glitters because I absolutely hate glitters in my lipstick. But I love these. I have both on. Normally I put on um, Naughty Nude first, which is a brownie one, and then the pink Nude Beach over it. And their whole line of lipsticks is amazing. They have one called Naked Dolly, which is really nice nude. And I like that they section off their nudes. Unlike other brands, like, they have a collection of nudes, a collection of pinks and reds. And so it's really easy for you to go in. And if you're looking for a nude lipstick, Too Faced, I highly recommend their lipstick. They also have really great liners. I want to buy one of their liners to go with the lipstick. But if I want something more, like, stand out-ish... I don't know if that's a word, but I just made it up. I use Myth over top, and I'll show you guys what I do. So basically, I just apply this in the middle of my lips. And then blend it. And so, with any lip color, if you apply Myth to the inner portion and just kind of blend it out, it just gives you more of like a 3D kind of look. And I don't know, it just makes your lips look a lot fuller, so I really, really love that. And... Also, I've really been into liners, lip liners. My two favorite ones at the moment are by NYX or NYX. Um, natural and Nude Beige. So I'll swatch these for you. So this is Natural, the third one. This is the lip liner by NYX and Natural. And then this is Nude Beige. Nude Beige um, doesn't have as much as like a rosy tint. It's even more brown. So this is Nude Beige and this is Natural. I love both of them. It makes your lips look a lot fuller when you line your lips with a dark brown lip liner and I absolutely recommend these to you. You can also find NYX at Target now or any beauty supply store but I get mine at Ulta because they always have like buy one get one half off and I'm in there girl, you know. Sorry if I sound a little tired. I've had a really long day. It's 11 o'clock at night so I'm a little beat and this face I put on at nine o'clock this morning so that's why it's not like super duper on point but it's whatever i really missed you guys i wanted to get this video out there last lip product i want to show you guys is by buxom this is um an all-time favorite for me this is white russian by buxom which i believe is owned by bare essentials so it's usually near bare essentials if you go to sephora this was always sold out but they finally have it restocked in like a lot of locations it's a lip plumping lip gloss and i'll apply it right now so you guys can see 
I always get compliments when I wear this lip gloss because it really reflects light beautifully. Um, I've heard that Boy Bait is an exact dupe by MAC. This is the cream sheen glass. I'm actually almost out of Boy Bait. This one ran out really fast. But this one I really recommend because it's also lip plumping. So it gives you like a tingly feeling and I love the taste of it. It's like minty. I know some girls don't like that but I absolutely love lip plumpers that you can actually feel working. So this is the lip gloss by Buxom. This is White Russian again and it's really really shiny. It's a beautiful beautiful nudie pink and it plumps your lips. And also like lip gloss just instantly makes you look more glamorous and put together so I've really been loving lip liners and lip glosses. The last two makeup things I want to show you guys are palettes. The first one is the Lorac Pro palette. I know you guys are patiently waiting for a video. Mine actually broke and I exchanged it at Sephora and I'm obsessed with this palette. I'm really really obsessed with the matte side. Favorite colors in the palette are white, mauve, sable and espresso and from the glittery colors the shimmer colors i love light bronze and gold i absolutely love it i used it in my thanksgiving tutorial but i am gonna have like a tutorial of like my matte go-to look which i know you guys are probably tired of but i'm obsessed with it i think it's really flattering but i love this i highly highly recommend it if you guys are contemplating getting this please get it i got mine in a set from Ulta online. It was like really cheap and I got like a free eye primer and I got the most amazing eyeliner. I'm obsessed with this eyeliner. Okay, it's called the Front of the Line Pro. Obsessed. It's so black. It's so easy to use. I know liner is really difficult, but this just makes it so effortless. It's like a marker. I would pay full price for this, but I did get it in a set with my Pro Palette on Ulta. But if you don't want to order it from Ulta, if you live in New York City, you can also find the Pro Palette at the JCPenney location. It's a Sephora in JCPenney and Queen Center Mall. So I know they still carry that in the JCPenney. So I recommend this hands down. Really, really great quality. Really buttery. Easy to blend colors. You get a really good variation of colors. I highly recommend them over the Naked palettes, 100%. I really don't touch my Naked my naked palettes for nothing. I don't know what to do with them, but basically this is like bomb.com. Love, love, love it. And the other palette I want to show you guys is this Tarte Off the Cuff palette. I got this at Sephora. I know it's kind of hard to find. I got mine on the 9th Avenue location in the city but I'm pretty sure Times Square still has it and basically what it is it's these four blushes from Tarte and then a bronzer so the bronzer I already have it's Park Avenue Princess but it comes with Crave, Dazzled, Darling and Doll Face so Crave is like a nice like corally color and then you have Dazzled which is like a perfect fall burgundy color the middle one is Darling which is a really nice just like everyday kind of color and then you have this beautiful pink like a baby doll pink doll face perfect name for it and then the bronzer which this one doesn't have any shimmers but my other Park Avenue Princess does have shimmers so I'm not sure what that is only one of the blushes have a shimmer I mixed all four colors today to get this blush that I have on it's pinky corally bronzy so you can do one you can do two and you're getting like a lot of product I've always wanted to try the Tarte blushes the Amazonian clay ones so this was a great deal I believe it was $42 but you're getting four blushes and a bronzer and it's so perfect to just throw in your makeup collection and your bag or if you're a makeup artist you could just throw this in your kit and you're, it's gonna last you a while because blushes normally never run out unless you're like obsessed with one like I am with my NARS orgasm but I highly, highly recommend this. It's a great way to try out new colors and go outside your box and try different things with your skin tone. So, highly recommend those two palettes. My last two beauty favorites are hair products. The first one is R&B, which is a hair moisturizer by Lush. I recently purchased it, but I've always used like samples. And I'm obsessed with the way this smells. Oh, it smells so amazing. It's a rich leave-in conditioner to revive and balance dry or curly hair with beautiful butters and oils. And you literally get a lot. This was, I believe, $25, but you get so much in here. You literally need a little bit, like a dot. And you can use this in wet hair or I use mine in dry hair. It leaves great shine and I love carrying this with me in a little sample jar just to kind of fix my flyaways or if I'm doing like a ponytail 
instead of using gel I'd rather put this in because I know that it's like fortifying my hair and making it like shiny and strong and it's really really great for your ends if you have curly hair you should really really try this R&B especially if you have dry curly hair because this will just like revive your curls I honestly can't say enough good things about this some girls even use this as a hand moisturizer it literally smells that good people always compliment me when I'm wearing this because they think I'm wearing a perfume that's floral but it's my hair so you guys know I'm obsessed with good smells so I'm telling you definitely get a sample at Lush see how you like it the sample lasts you so long so yeah that's by Lush and then my hairspray well, I re fell in love with the Kenra volume spray this is the volume 25 I have another bottle but the nozzle was clogged I've tried cleaning it so I was like you know what let me just go buy another one this was $18 at Ulta so basically this is the best hairspray I've tried better than the L'Oreal El Knit hairspray for volume it's just like amazing like this little bang here I don't know what I would do without this. This just keeps it in place and it just doesn't leave it like hard. It just leaves it like, I don't know how to explain it. It's really the greatest hairspray for volume. Like honestly, if you want volume, you would just pick your hair up, spray it, and your hair just stays like this. Like I don't know why Megan Chow Bella doesn't use this. Like if you're a teasing kind of girl, <sighs> Lord, you need to try this. $18 does sound a little pricey for a uh, hairspray, but the L'Oreal El Knit is about $15, so honestly, I love, love, love this one way more. I want to show you guys my case, and I haven't really taken a lot of pictures of it because I wanted to wait to film a video with it. This is my beautiful case. Let's just take a moment to like admire the beauty. This is a case that I received. This was made by Bianca, aka Sweetie. Her website is www.prettysweet then the letter n c o so pretty sweet and co.com i'll leave it down below and you can email her at orders at pretty sweet and co.com she hand makes these like you can make the lipstick color different or like this black can be like zebra print and you know she has black instead of this pink and I just love her work. This is so amazing. It's right up my alley. It's so girly. And I, I'm going to be having a giveaway for a case. So be on the lookout for that. Should be in my next video. But definitely check out her, her website. I mean, this is just like super glamorous. And if you are a makeup fanatic like me, you definitely need this in your life. And it's not really expensive. And it just goes so great. And she does make um, other phone cases. Like not just iPhones. I'm pretty sure she does like Androids and some other phones. She even does iPad cases. This would be a great gift for Christmas, like for anyone you know that's into makeup. Ugh, it's just like to die for. I can't wait to take pictures with it, like selfies in the mirror, because it's just so like unique, and I've never seen anybody with a case like this, so. Mwah, I love it, I love it so much. And as far as my favorite song, I'm gonna play you guys a couple. So my first favorite song is Own It by Mac Wilds. And I'm going to play you guys a little clip because y'all know I love to lip sing. So, Mac Wilds, own it. Favorite part is coming. Hey, hey, hey. Second favorite song is an oldie, but it's Trey Songs, Me For You, Infidelity Part 2. So I'm gonna play you a little clip. It's kinda old, but that's okay. It's, it's still Trey. My last favorite song is Jason Derulo, Marry Me. Um, I feel like I'm feeling step away or not. Nah, like, I normally don't listen to Jason Derulo, but this song right here makes me feel some type of way. So those 
are my favorites for the month. If you guys are wondering where my shirt is from, it's from Forever 21. Um, you guys pretty much know what's on my face. On my eyes is the Lorac Pro Palette. My lips is the Too Faced lipsticks that I mentioned in the video. On my nails is this new color. I know, I can't believe I didn't mention it right now, but this is also a gel color. I actually picked a new salon because I've had too many problems with my old salon. And I figured I'd go for something different. It is by OPI, and this is Malaga Wine, or Malaga Wine. And it's a beautiful, beautiful color. This is a gel, so it lasts two weeks. I got it done in Queens. Um, I put an Instagram post of where I got it done. Um, I believe I paid $30 for my gel nails, but a, a really similar color is Bordeaux or Bourdois. It's B-O-R-D-E-A-U-X. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Bordeaux. But um, it's by Essie, and I'll put it down below. I have that on my toes because I needed a color that was similar. It's a little bit more, like, reddish tint. This is more of a burgundy dark, but I'm so, like, missing my white, but I'm kind of getting used to this, and I kind of like it, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have a whole bunch of videos coming up. I'm like super overwhelmed, but I got this. You got to stay strong. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. And today I'm wearing... No, wait a minute. Sirens. Someone's getting in trouble. Um... Yeah. So my last, well, my two. That ah, fail. Loving this case. I'm always crooked. <laughs> Let me just get the information. Buffering. Really? Really, YouTube? Really? You gonna do that to me? Trey songs. Boo boo. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, you acting up. You acting up, you acting up, you acting up. Oh, that's not the song. Commercial. Yeah.